Hi everybody, I hope you're all well. This is a recap of what I gave you to do in the lesson the other day. It's looking at financial markets and the different financial institutions that we have in countries and what they do. So the main financial institutions are commercial banks, they're sometimes called retail banks, building societies, central banks, and then we also actually have investment banks and we have insurance companies. So some example of some commercial banks would be HSBC or Santander that you will have heard of. A building society that you will have heard of would be the Nationwide. And in the UK, the central bank is the Bank of England. And if you were looking at America, it would be the Federal Reserve. And if you were looking in Europe at economies which are using the euro, it would be the European Central Bank. Some investment banks, one which is one of the very big ones, is Goldman Sachs. And there are also, actually to complicate matters, in real life, some banks like HSBC. Part of them is a commercial bank, but then they also have an arm which does investment banking. Insurance companies, that's where, for example, if you take out insurance on your phone and you drop your phone, you can get the insurance company will give you some money to get you a new phone. What you have to do is you have to pay an amount of money every month, your premium, so that you can then make a claim if something goes wrong. And we're now going to look at all the different categories and whether they're things which are done by commercial banks or central banks. So accepting deposits and keeping them safe. Sometimes also paying interest on these. So this is where you can put your money um, to keep it safe and you can earn interest on it as well. So that is a commercial bank. Next, controls monetary policy. Monetary policy, the main point of that is setting the interest rate. There are also other things that you can do with monetary policy, like increasing the supply of money, that's quantitative easing. But mostly we'll focus on this and monetary policy when we're talking about the rate of interest that is done by your central bank and in the UK at the Bank of England the organisation or part of the Bank of England that does this is called the Monetary Policy Committee the MPC they are the part of the Bank of England which organises the setting the rate of interest. They meet every month to decide what to do with it. Making payments on behalf of consumers through card payments, bank transfers, online payments and accepting cheques. These are all the things that make our lives much easier. So you can tap in with your Oyster card or you can also tap in using your debit card when you go on the tube. And this using your debit card allows you to pay just automatically like that with the swipe. Also, if you go into a shop, you can pay with your debit card or your credit card and you can write a check for somebody. All of those things are made able to happen by commercial banks. Next one, providing foreign currency exchange for individuals and firms. So this is if you go on holiday abroad or you are a company, say you're in the UK and you want to buy some supplies from a French company, you'll need to get hold of some euros in order to buy the things from France. And it's commercial banks that allow you to buy foreign currency. Next one, it's the Bank of Commercial Banks. This is the central bank. If, for example, at the end of the day, more people wanted to take money out from HSBC than they had sitting there at that moment in time, HSBC could go to the Bank of England and they could say, please, please can you lend us some money just for this short period of time until tomorrow? Because the way that banks work, they don't have everybody's money sitting in there all the time because they take people's deposits, but then they also lend that money out to other people. So if the commercial bank suddenly needs a little bit of a loan, they'll go to the central bank. So the central bank in the UK, the Bank of England, is the bank for commercial banks. Next one, provides financial stability by ensuring citizens can trust financial organisation. This is about regulation. It's about overseeing what financial organisations are doing. So if you take out a loan from a commercial bank, 
it will be overseen with regulation to make sure that the bank giving it to you isn't taking advantage of you. So this regulation is often overseen by the central bank. Next one, providing safety deposit boxes for keeping valuable items like jewellery and important documents. You can go into, this is a commercial bank, you can go in there, you sometimes see this in films, and you can ask, you pay to use a safety deposit box and you can leave valuable things there. So you might leave your diamond necklace there and you have a key for that or a code to get into it and it's all kept safe and it's commercial banks who provide these safety deposit boxes. The next one, the government's bank. This again is the central bank. So the Bank of England do lots of things for the government. For example, if the government in the UK wanted to raise some money, they could issue some bonds. And this action would be done by the central bank, by the Bank of England. They would get them to do that for them. If there are any banking matters that need to be done by the government, they will get the central bank to do that. And in the next video, I'll just finish off the chart.